Welcome back to Diana in the Pink. In this video, I'm gonna take you through what you might wanna pack when you go to the hospital to deliver your baby. Because as a mom to four, I've had my share of baby delivery hospital stays, so I'm pretty familiar with what you might need and what can stay at home. But be sure to stick around to the end because there's one item that you absolutely need to bring that doesn't actually fit in a hospital bag, but you won't wanna to go to the hospital without it. But first, if you are new to my channel, my name is Diana, I'm a physician assistant, and I specialize in women's health and gynecology. Now, if you are new here, subscribe to Diana the Pink for content about women's health, mommyhood, and pregnancy. Now, I would imagine that most of you watching this video are getting ready to have a baby and are wondering what and when you need to pack to go to the hospital. So comment down below and let me know, are you in your third trimester, your second trimester, or are you like a major super planner and you are in your first trimester? As for me, I put together my hospital bag around 36 weeks, and I would recommend that you do about the same, which gives you plenty of time even if you go into labor a little early. But if you have a reason that you know could make you deliver earlier, like you're pregnant with twins, you might wanna pack a little earlier, it's up to you. But what you don't wanna do is run around throwing things into a hospital bag in between contractions. You're not packed! Now, if you have a normal vaginal delivery without any complications, you could expect to stay at the hospital anywhere between 24 hours to two days. And if you have a C-section, you'll probably end up staying for three to four days. But if you are having a vaginal delivery, you might wanna give your hospital a call beforehand to find out if you labor and recover in the same room. Some hospitals have a labor and delivery room which is separate from your recovery room and other hospitals, you stay in the same room for delivery and as you recover. But if you have to move rooms, you might wanna consider packing two bags. One for the things that you're gonna want when you're laboring and then the second bag for when you were recovering. That just keeps things a little more organized, but again, that part's up to you. So the first things that you're gonna need will be your important documents. So you'll need your photo ID, insurance card, you wanna bring your birth plan and I would make a couple of copies of that. Bring a list of medications that you're taking and any allergies to any medications that you might have and then any hospital paperwork. And if you are planning on making payments to the hospital while you're there, bring like your debit or your credit card. I recommend that you bring a folder to keep all of that organized and also the hospital is gonna give you a lot of paperwork when you get discharged, so this helps keep that organized as well. Next, you're gonna wanna pack your own basic toiletries. The hospital can provide you with some of this stuff, but honestly, my preference was to have my own brands, my own fragrances that I like to use. So you wanna pack your toothbrush, you wanna pack your deodorant, any like facial moisturizers that you need, shampoo, conditioner, uh, lotions. You might also wanna consider a little bit of makeup. I usually at least had to have some mascara and lip gloss just to help me feel more like me. This is entirely up to you, um, but you'll have pictures taken of you with the baby. For me, I preferred to have pictures with a little bit of makeup on, but again, whatever helps you feel the best. <laughs> You're definitely gonna wanna pack some socks with you. If you have the kinds that have the little anti-slip grippy things, that's fine because you're gonna be walking up and down the hospital halls and then also in your bedroom, but you don't have to. Um, but however many days you're gonna be staying at the hospital, that's how many pairs you're gonna wanna bring. Because hospital floors honestly aren't the cleanest. I never would wanna put my bare feet on the floor. So definitely socks, and better yet, like if you have flip-flops or slip-on pair of shoes that you can slip on and off when you're walking, that works great. Now when you're laying or during your c-section you're gonna be wearing a hospital gown and then they're gonna get you all cleaned up and into a new clean hospital gown after the baby comes and honestly you could wear the hospital gown your entire stay if you wanted but you might be more comfortable in your own clothes. A lot will depend on you and how you feel after your delivery. For example, I was really uncomfortable after my third C-section and the thought of trying to change into my own clothes for a day or two afterwards, I didn't want to. But at some point, you're probably going to wanna to be able to change into your own clothes that you'll be more comfortable in. And that might be your own jammies, maybe bring a robe. You're gonna to wanna to bring some comfortable sweats or leggings. Just be aware that your body is not gonna jump down to your pre-pregnancy size as soon as the baby comes out unfortunately. Oh, you all gained five pounds back. Come on. If you prefer to wear your normal clothes during your stay, I would recommend the maternity clothes that you wore around six months of pregnancy. If you're gonna have a C-section, make sure your pants or your jammies aren't gonna sit low on your abdomen where it can rub on your incision. Also, remember to bring a set of clothes that you're gonna go home in. They could even be the clothes that you came to the hospital in. That's totally fine. I recommend that you bring a few nursing bras, 
two at least. Preferably no underwire, it's more comfortable without. Especially when it's time to feed the baby and you want a nurse but the room is filled with the lactation specialist and the nurse and your family and your doctor. It helps you to feel a little bit more modest when you're nursing but it still allows you to do some skin to skin. So the nursing bra, <laughs> I don't know how to demonstrate. So the nursing bra just unsnaps so you can nurse the baby, but the rest of you can stay covered up. I'm the consultant. <laughs> All right. Uh you're gonna want something for your hair, so like a ponytail holder, I wore a headband. Let's talk about underwear. So you are gonna be bleeding quite a bit and the hospital does provide you with mesh underwear. I recommend just to use those, but if you really feel more comfortable in your own britches, go ahead and bring your own. Just don't bring your favorite underwear or you're gonna be bleeding and sometimes pretty heavily and you don't wanna ruin your favorite pair of knickers. Personally, I just stuck with the mesh underwear the hospital gives you, especially keep that in mind if you are gonna have a c-section because you don't want tight underwear elastic around your waist again where it could rub on your c-section dressing i also love to bring my journal so i could record my feelings having a baby is a huge event in your life and believe it or not it's easy to forget some of the details of the experiences and how you feel so it's good to take a moment and write it all down so that you don't forget you're also going to want to be sure to pack things to entertain you so bring your phone of course a book um, your laptop, whatever you like to use. And remember to bring your charging cables. If you have one that has an extra long cord, that's great. Otherwise, bring a small extension cord just in case they don't have an outlet near your bed. Also, don't forget your headphones or earbuds. That's also a good idea to bring. You're gonna wanna bring a camera to take pictures of your baby during those first few days. Cell phone cameras now are amazing, so you can use that or a regular camera, but you're gonna wanna have some of those pictures and also videos. You're definitely gonna wanna bring your own pillow. I'm a very picky pillow person. I have a single pillow that I love and I don't like to sleep with anything else. So if you're like me, bring your own pillow, but make sure that your pillowcase is a different color. Hospital pillowcases are white. So if your pillowcase is white, sometimes it's easy to get them mixed up. If you have any medical devices, um, hearing aids or whatnot, make sure to bring those. Remember to bring your glasses or your contact supplies if you need them. And then any specialty things that are specific for your plans for delivery. So if you wanted to bring a birthing ball, you can bring that. Uh, swim shorts for your partner if you're doing a water birth. A cord blood kit if you're saving or donating the baby's cord blood. Also keep in mind if you're using essential oils, make sure to check the hospital to make sure that they allow things like that. Now let's talk about the baby items, which is honestly a lot simpler. The hospital will provide you with pretty much everything that you need for your baby. So wipes, diapers, uh, baby bottles, blankets. They'll also put the baby in a baby shirt with a swaddling blanket. So honestly, you don't really need a lot. But I love to dress my baby in things that I brought for myself. I always like to bring a few baby blankets and whatever you wanna put your baby in while they're there at the hospital, especially for when you're taking pictures of the baby. Plus, you'll wanna have a baby outfit and blanket to bring the baby home in. And make sure to be aware of the weather. If it's really, really cold, have the right temperature clothing to take them home in. Finally, it's a good idea to pack a bag of some sort for the baby's dad or your partner, parent, sibling, whoever might be there in the hospital with you throughout your stay. Pack snacks for them. The hospital is gonna provide you with meals and snacks, but they may not for your guest. They're gonna get hungry and they're gonna need a little something, especially if they might be there in your room for a long time as you are laboring. They're gonna want some comfortable clothing, maybe a tablet or earbuds, a book, whatever they would like to pass the time. Dr. Max, also, pajamas and bathroom essentials for them as well if they're gonna be staying overnight. Now, as promised, I wanna talk about the one thing that you absolutely need to bring that's not gonna fit in any of your bags, and that is a car seat. In the US, a car seat is required by law to be properly installed in your car before you can take your baby home. And the hospital actually checks to make sure that you have a car seat. If you aren't sure about how to install it, call your hospital. Many of them offer a free service where someone will come out to your car and help you to install your car seat properly. Now, if you are new to Diane in the Pink, I have made a whole pregnancy series week by week. So a video corresponding to every week in pregnancy starting at week four, so like 30, 38, videos, each about baby development, what you might be experiencing, what to expect at your next OB appointment, and so much more. So click subscribe, and then right here, I'm gonna link to that playlist. Check it out, find the week that you are, click on that, and then I will see you over there.